Hello, I'm Tracy Grimshaw. Welcome to A Current Affair. We begin with breaking news on the young girl sexually assaulted by a group of four men. Tonight, chilling video of the 14-year-old just moments before the attack in a park. Reid Butler joins me live with the latest. Reid. Tracy, it is a crime that has shocked even hardened police officers and it will outrage the nation. A 14-year-old girl repeatedly sexually assaulted by a gang of men. Tonight, we've obtained exclusive video of the chilling final moments before that young girl's life changed forever. Suffice to say, what she has told us is... Um is horrific and, um, and awful. You know, you don't really think that that kind of stuff happens around here. It's early Sunday morning and this 14-year-old girl and her male friend are walking towards a park. they just left a party, but what this young girl doesn't know is that these are her final steps before she fell victim to the most terrifying ordeal imaginable. They arrive at the park and it isn't long before they're approached by a gang of four intoxicated men. They attack the pair. The boy tries to fight them off but is kicked to the ground. They were drunk. They were violent. In this exclusive CCTV footage, you can see the moment the victim's friend runs back up the alleyway to raise the alarm. Back at the park, the girl is sexually assaulted by the men. And as if that's not bad enough, they then drag her to another location and assault her again before leaving her for dead. She's later found dazed and disoriented. It is on the, um, the high extreme level of seriousness. And these are the four sick monsters accused of the horrific crime. Three of the attackers had British accents. The first was aged in his mid-30s with a bulky build. The second was younger, with tribal tattoos across his chest and arms. The blonde attacker was aged in his mid-twenties and was clean-shaven, while the fourth had an Australian accent and was around 173 centimetres tall. Tonight, they're still on the run and the Geelong community is on alert. We've seen the faces now, so we'll definitely keep a good eye out for um, any familiar faces. Yeah, they need to be put in jail for a very long time. Reid, this is a terrible attack. You'd think somebody knows these men, wouldn't you? Well, Trace, one of the most striking things about this case is just how identifiable the victim's attackers are. I was in Geelong earlier today and there are wanted posters all over the place with their faces plastered all over them. Tonight the country has seen their faces and hopefully, hopefully, police will get a, uh, a good result soon. What do we know of the young girl's condition tonight? Well, it's understood the young girl is recovering with her family tonight, but considering just how awful her ordeal was, it's, uh, there's no doubt that uh, their mental scarring will last a lifetime, Tracy. All right, thanks, Reid. And if you have information that might help police, you are urged to contact Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000. That's 1800 333 000.